Hello, I'm Glenn, the glass guy. So how do low E coatings on window glass work? Most low E coatings are manufactured by applying a microscopic silver coating. It's so thin you can't even see it. In fact, the coating is actually thinner than a human hair. Low E coatings are so thin that they are measured in a unit called nanometers. Take a look. You'll see that a human hair is 75,000 nanometers. By comparison, low E coatings are only 150 nanometers. <laughs> That's ultra thin. Now, there are two different types of low E coatings, passive and solar control. Passive are best used in cooler climates because they allow some of the sun's infrared energy to pass through. Solar control blocks UV and infrared light from passing through while allowing visible light in. These coatings are ideal for mild to hot climates that are more dominated by air conditioning use. Let's see how these glass units perform using a special contraption. This is a Crookes radiometer. It consists of an airtight glass bulb containing a partial vacuum. Inside are a set of vanes that are mounted on a spindle. The vanes rotate when exposed to light with faster rotation for more intense light, providing a visual measurement of electromagnetic radiation intensity. On the left is window glass with a passive low E coating. On the right is a window glass with a solar control low E coating. Behind each of these pieces of glass are heat lamps that will serve as our energy source, the sun. As you can see, the more energy that is transmitted through the passive low E coated glass, the faster the veins move. But look at the solar control side. The veins move much slower, indicating less energy is passing through. Now imagine if these were the windows in your home. Imagine not having to have your air conditioning on full blast to combat the sun's infrared energy. Or in the winter, imagine being able to harness some of the sun's warmth to keep your home warmer, but your energy bill lower. And to think, this is all possible with a coating that's thinner than this. Ouch.